Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. First off, I got my hair done. What'd you think? Shout out to my girl Larissa Love for adding some color in it and making me look all lovely. <laughs> Anywho, the reason why I brought you guys here today is because I have a super fun topic for you. Are you ready? Drum roll, please. Even though the title already gave it away, it is Stuff My Students Say. I've taught first grade for two years, but I'm moving on to third, so I thought what a better time to reminisce on my firsties than here, now, with you guys. So that's what we're gonna do. Luckily, before I started teaching, I got this bad boy, my quotable kid. I got this off Amazon. I'll put the link in the description below so you guys can get one too. Highly recommend. But anyway, I've kept all my kids' ridiculous sayings in this book over the last two years. So let's go through it together, shall we? First one. Okay, out of nowhere, this girl just walked up to me and goes, Miss Blair, some people just like to eat boogers, you know? <laughs> sure, kid. <laughs> Next one. That's not appropriate. Um, oh, so same old girl that likes to eat boogers came up to me and, okay, little background. So this is from my first year teaching and my first year teaching was insane. I had a whole class full of just characters and I hadn't learned my teacher voice yet amongst many other things. So it was just rainbows and sunshine majority of the time. So during one of those rainbows and sunshine times when no one was listening to a word, I said I basically did not exist. Um, this girl comes up to me and goes, no one cares about you, Miss Blair. And I'm like, excuse me. And she's like, I just don't understand. You're trying to teach us. You're putting your heart out there and then just no one listens. And I was like, thank you, you get me. <laughs> but it was just hilarious the way that she's like, no one cares about you. Totally thought that was going a different direction. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, all right. And he goes, I don't like being sick, but I do like having more boogers to eat. <laughs> Oh my gosh, and one time, so this kid, he was always like up walking out of his seat, but one time he sneezed and it went like, uh, like everywhere, just dripping like over his mouth and like dangling and like, and he just walks and goes and sits down. I'm like, oh, now you sit down, get a tissue. And he's like, okay. And like goes and gets a tissue. What? No. <laughs> okay. Um, oh. So we were coming in from recess and this kid was wearing some really cool pants. And so I go, hey, I like your pants aloneness. And he's like, thanks, I like Doritos too. <laughs> Almost. Um, okay, um, oh, so don't you love it when kids are trying to hurt your feelings? This one's for you. Miss Blair, you look like a boy. Thank you. No, it's not a compliment. I know, babe. But good vocabulary, using the word compliment. Give yourself a pat on the back. Because we had just learned the word compliment like last week, so. Ah, uh, he was not happy, but I was. Um, okay, so first grade is when they start losing a lot of their teeth. And this one boy, at the time, he literally had like no front teeth, like only his fangs and it was a time. But he goes, do you have all your teeth? <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, yes I do. Um, okay, <laughs> this one was more about like the whole way he reacted, so I'll do it the best that I can. So this kid was like out of his seat doing God knows what. Um, we'll call him Billy Bob. So I go, Billy Bob, and he goes, and I'm like, Billy Bob. And he's like, oh, what, who'd you think it was? <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Um, I had recess duty one day and this kindergartner, cute as a button, comes up to me and goes, I have big eyes, so I'm cute. You're not wrong, kid, not wrong. Uh, this one scared the bejesus out of me. So she comes up to me and she's like, Miss Blair, I know where babies come from. And I was like, oh, okay. And she's like, I'm really mature for my age. I know that most kids don't know where babies come from, but I know where they come from. And I'm like, Okay, sweetie, well, let's just, and she just gets real close to my face and goes, Jesus. <laughs> you got it. Nailed it. <sighs> okay. Um, same girl, same little girl. At recess one day, she's just stomping around. 
I'm like, what's wrong? And she's like, I hate liars. I hate them. I hate them. At least they're going to, well, you know where. Whew, scared of whoever lied to you, kid. Okay, so this one was very recent. It was last day of school, but I was staying next to two of my kids from my first year teaching. And <laughs> rainbows and sunshine. Um, one of them says to the other, are you ever going to apologize to Miss Blair for smashing her finger in your laptop because you were throwing a fit? Not exaggerating at all. And he goes, oh, I'm sorry, Miss Blair. And she goes, took you long enough. I wouldn't even accept it, Miss Blair. <laughs> no, no, like I accept it. Thank you for your apology. <sighs> that tune. All right, so this was the last day of school and I was very emotional because I'm switching grades, I'm moving schools and I'm not gonna see these kids again. And it was just, it was really hard. So I was crying. And so the little girl with the attitude from the last one that I probably <laughs> had way more to do with, in fact, I'm sure I'm the one that taught her sarcasm, um, comes up to me and goes, are you crying? I said, no, you're crying. Let's see where she gets it from. She goes, then let me see your sunglasses. And I bend down, I let her take them off and she just goes, liar. <laughs> And then we both started crying because we're sad we're not gonna see each other next year. And it was actually a really beautiful, emotional moment. <sighs> okay, so those are my kids' ridiculous quotes from the last two years in first grade. And I'm sure I will have much more coming to you from third grade. I'll try to keep you updated. It is definitely enjoyable to like look back at times that used to be chaotic and crazy and saving these funny moments to really make those years memorable. All right, so that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. Definitely go on Amazon and get yourself one of these because it is a crack up. It is such a good keepsake. So if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Comment below and share some of the ridiculous stuff that your kids have said over the years. And I'll see you next week.